how to take your JavaScript React project and turn it into a TypeScript React, React project um, in a piecemeal meal way. So this way, individual files are getting converted to TypeScript um, without having to convert the entire code base, which may be, let's say, thousands of files um, in one shot. Um, so to do so, what we do is first we import TypeScript and the related type files that we needed. Then we convert the individual file that we're going to use. So this is a file that creates components that are navigation items. So it's somewhere deep in our tree. So we can convert that to a TSX file. If we run it right now, um, if we run yarn start now, what's going to happen is there's going to be an error because this index.js file is not going to be found. So um, it's underneath list tabs index. So this is not being found. So what we need to do first is we need to do a TypeScript configuration initiation initialization. So let me take that. All right. So we can create. We've created that. Now let's move this up so it's a little bit more visible. So it created a TS config with the following settings, uh, and we're going with strict true on it. If we want to, we can go see that file. Um, it is up in our front end code, and it is TS config. And you can see it basically has a whole lot of things commented out that you can set, um, and then it has some pretty sane defaults. So now, if we try and create it, now if we try and run our project, it will still fail. And the failure is, let's zoom it out a little bit. You have both a TS config and a JS config file that exists at the same time. You're only allowed to have one. So if we go into the JS config file, we can take out the settings that are there. So uh, for this, we have compiler options. We're going to just cut these. I'm going to delete my uh, the JSON file. Go into TS config. I'm going to stick these at the top of the file. So this way they can still be used. And now when it starts up, let's give it an error we go. While that's trying to start up, we're going to go over to our index.tsx file. And we will encounter some errors here. Um, let's take a look and see what those errors are. So first things first is we have um, this here, which is a which is a module that we're importing that doesn't that does not have any type uh, definitions uh, declared for it. Now um, we've I've already tested this out, and um, this component does not actually have any type definition file to import in. So this uh, so this npm install this doesn't actually work. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a d.ts file for this. So going into the front end, we're going to create file. Um, I am going to give it a name. I'm going to call it type definitions.d.ts. You can actually call it anything. I just wanted to create something uh, simple and generic. So new file and oops, new file. And we are going to take that Moby scroll uh, thing that's missing and we're going to put that in there. There's other, you can basically do this for any types of files that you have in your tree or that are imported that don't have any type definitions. Ideally, you always want to import the type definitions that are being 
alerted to you in the warnings that are given. But if you uh, if those are not available or if it, you're just referring to JavaScript modules that you've created that you don't want to convert over to TypeScript at this time, you can add them here. So basically one of them is we have a component called hist a module called history. So we don't want that to actually be throwing this error. So coming back here, that got rid of this message here. Um, we have another thing called constant. Uh, it's actually, it actually comes from source constants. Uh, now this can also be added to this definition. So now that error has gone away. We have a ESLint error, which I'm just going to do a quick fix, fix it, import order for it, and I will sort that out. Now we're going to get into the meat of basically taking a TypeScript file and turning it into something that is, is um, I'm taking a JavaScript file and turning it into a TypeScript file. So first we have these props. They need a definition, so we can go interface props and here we have three different things that are coming in from it we can call we can make this one a string we can make this one this one I know is a function that takes a name which is a string and it doesn't return anything put that on our line and then we have this features. Um, right now, I'm just going to put it as an empty object. All right. And then features. Oh, features property. This is not. It does not exist on this, so we can add that. And that looks like a boolean, so we'll do boolean. All right. So now that error is gone. This is implicit any, so we don't want that. So we can take this and make this a string. Now another way we could do this is mouse over, quick fix, infer parameter types from usage. Um, before we go on, ESLint no parameters is not iterable. Um, all right, well, let's ignore for this session. Not sure exactly. Yep, we're going to ignore that for right now because it seems to be working okay. So, so now we have all of those errors resolved. And Hmm. Node params is not iterable. Um, so let's see what this is all about. Oh, so what we do is we take and so this is a common problem, I think, or at least a problem that I encountered before, which is you go into your ESLint RC, you go down to parser, you change this to be instead of the Babel ESLint parser, you change it to the TypeScript ESLint parser. Um, which 
And what we do is we do yarn add dev ESLIN parser. And then we can start that again. Let's see how this works out. All right, so cannot resolve constants in this file. All right, so now we're getting more into so this before was dot 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 slash All right, so this file here is causing an issue. So it's because before we included components, but this is constants. So what we're going to do is we can go over to the constants file, and we are going to convert this to a TS file. And if we notice, um, there is no errors on this because this is just simply defining various different strings and objects. So now we got that resolved and we can quick fix the import order and that's all resolved and now it's recompiling and let's see could not find declaration for model module constants in deployment tabs deployment tabs so let's see Let's cancel this and restart it. Because I think what it's doing is it's looking for the constant JS file that no longer exists. So we have to recompile from start and no issues found. That's good. We actually have it started up fine. All right. So, so this was a tutorial on how to uh, take an individual file such as this and turn it into a TypeScript file. Now you can go through and do the same for various other things. Um, the important things to note are often you um, are importing something and you need to either a uh, convert the thing that you're importing into a TypeScript file, or B, import. I uh, have those type definitions defined, and if you uh, can import, if you can uh, do an npm uh, import or add um, for the uh, type definitions, that's obviously superior. But if not, you can always create a simple placeholder in a type definitions file which will get automatically imported in by TypeScript and so these guys are not considered a problem.